this book should be essential read compulsory read for development policy practitioners like myself for all the diplomats commercial stakeholders who are looking to invest in pakistan's coastal areas or who are already invested in this is compulsory reading uh ladies and gentlemen i have never had the pleasure to meet the author personally uh but while i was skimming through his book today ahead of my uh preparation for this talk i was grateful to nofil for introducing me to a soldier who thinks who has a sense of history and not only that he also has a very clear vision about the entire coastline of pakistan and what needs to be done with it in addition to the thought and the vision he admirably has incredible academic skills to produce what i would call a solid academic work i've been in the academic and editorial business for over 20 years i can tell a good work from average works let me just offer a few observations about the book that i still have to read in depth khalid rehman saab ne apni bahut achhi speech mein knowledge economy ke jo essentials hain especially in today's day and age and the critical need for pakistan he has outlined the fundamentals of knowledge economy and their linkages to policy i will not go there but let me come straight to the subject matter of this incredible book it brings together several social science disciplines i saw a convergence of several social science disciplines in this book history cartography topography anthropology sociology geography defense and strategic studies international relations economy law it's an incredible combination of all social sciences disciplines that make up public policy what i would call a truly polymath work when you bring together multidisciplinary sciences and converge them into a thoughtful work of policy this is what this book is in terms of the academic discipline that i observed in this book the references in the bibliography very impressive digging of not only national institutional archives but even international policy archives it just shows not only the resourcefulness of the author but also his zeal to do exhaustive research to back up his observations that is true academic work and i might add that maybe 50 years or 100 years or 200 years from now when somebody would be researching on pakistan's coastline this book would be a major reference in the bibliography the more attractive and headline grabbing elements of this book are obviously the territorial the political and the historical and commercial aspects we are all aware of the intense national and international interest that the china pakistan economic corridor and its linkage with pakistan's coastline has generated 
those obvious those are the obvious interest points and very well covered in this book but there are a few other important elements that probably need equal attention the humanitarian and the human angles i was very struck by one chapter which was titled community and humility you don't see this kind of language normally in policy discourses or in mem memoirs by public officials or former soldiers so i was struck that perhaps the author is very well aware of a latent human angle to pakistan's coastline the latent human development potential and how critical it has become for the politics and the economics of this region i think we are all very this is a very well informed and very well connected audience we are watching the events specifically the recent events in gawada very closely those events are tied to questions of governance those events are tied to a very aware a very informed and increasingly connected league, uh, local population which wants to be heard which is articulating needs of basic human services that are required the book has elaborated on specifically the author's own institution institutional contribution and service in the region it is one institution however it points to the need of a very collective national effort that needs to be undertaken and this is something uh, reema mentioned uh, my work on blue economy it's a very very small contribution that we are trying to undertake at the UNDP country office whereby we have looked at the human development indicators of balochistan the most under uh, represented and the most marginalized province with the worst human development indicators in the entire country and fortunately the government of pakistan is very well aware of the regional disparities the annual plan of the government of pakistan of the planning commission 2021 2022 has kept regional equalization as one of the cornerstones for future policy making this is in line with the vision that we have for identifying and developing the blue economy as a new component of pakistan's economy that you have to customize economic growth according to the region and its community needs and i think in this respect this book should be essential read compulsory read for development policy practitioners like myself for all the diplomats and all the commercial stakeholders who are looking to invest in pakistan's coastal areas or who are already invested in this is compulsory reading it provides incredible incredible knowledge uh, for that some final comments on how the service that vice admiral iftikhar ahmed rao has made to his country by writing this book he is pointing to a population which is the original population of this land the coastal communities of pakistan i belong to karachi if you want to look how the population of the makran coast have done well for themselves come to karachi and see how they have leveraged opportunities for themselves and how some people in the city recognize the talent incredible talent incredible energy that this local population brings and how this community has contributed to the economic growth of karachi that is just one example that when you give ownership opportunity and care to a community 
they will directly contribute to the social cohesion the national development and the economic growth of your cities your communities and your country and probably this is what we now need beyond karachi and the larger coastline of pakistan from gawadar to sir creek this is exactly what we need how do we bring forward those segments who have been left behind they do not lack in talent they do not lack in in thoughtfulness in energy they just need opportunity and ownership and i believe that this book provides us a number of pointers on how to do that my final comment government of pakistan very recently has announced its national security policy it is an unprecedented policy document in the sense that for the first time in pakistan's history it lays impetus on human development and economic growth as the core of pakistan's defense and i think the undp's uh, global human development report 2021 2022 talks about the age of the anthropocene how human behavior and human choices especially evident in climate change and covid are impacting the overall conditions for countries and how now countries and societies are faced with greater uncertainties greater complexities in a very difficult and challenging environment for pakistan that we are all aware of the coastline from gawadar bay to sir creek is the soft underbelly of pakistan it is that final region where we really need to fortify ourselves uh iftikhar ahmed rao's book offers a blueprint uh, and all the knowledge resources that we require to fortify that soft underbelly thank you very much